it's Tasha and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. I haven't done a book haul in an extremely long time so I am way overdue. Some of these books I had for way too long and I, I still haven't read them or hauled them so huh. I'm going to be doing the ones that everyone knows first. Basically everyone knows them so I don't need to explain too much. Um, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I read a little bit of this so far. I am really liking it but I don't know if I'm going to get to finishing it anytime soon. A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book in the... <sighs> uh, I don't know. I can't think right now, but I don't know. You guys know what this is. I still haven't read it. Boomy. Of course, Empire of Storms, which is, I believe, the sixth book in the... Throne of Glass series. Oh my god, I, I still haven't even read Queen of Shadows. Yeah, and if I didn't haul Queen of Shadows, I have that too. Look, just these three, look how much, oh gosh. Obviously Me Before You, I featured this in like two videos already. I also have a few audiobooks and ebooks, so I'll be showing those also. Um, this is You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. This is something I don't normally get, it's like you know, like self-help book, motivational book, um, but I really did love it. I picked it up because it's been getting so much hype, and um, it, it really is worth the hype. I listened to it on audiobook, so I have it on audiobook as well. It does talk a lot about the law of attraction, but besides that, just in general, like stopping your self-doubt from getting what you want and learning to be happy and just stuff like that. It's really good. The audiobook was hilarious. The author, she's so funny, her narration. It's very conversational and I just really loved it. I highly recommend this one. In theme with that, I also got Girl Boss by Sophia Amoruso and she is the creator of Nasty Gal. A lot of you probably have heard of that book. I've seen it on booktube from time to time. I listened to a little bit of it and it is pretty funny so far so I am excited to read that one. Also on Audible, I got Stolen Songbird by Danielle Jensen and this is like a Y oh my gosh this is like a YA troll fantasy book which I haven't read anything about trolls I heard it was really good so super excited for that I also picked up illuminate on audible um, I listened to a little bit of it but stopped like partially through so I definitely need to finish that um, but that's by Amy Kaufman, Jay Kristoff. But Illuminate is a sci-fi and it's really um, popular for it being told through like text messages and emails and chats. So it's a little more difficult to listen on audiobook and definitely takes longer than reading it. So that's a little bit of a uh, but still got it. I also have Written in Red by Anne Bishop. Um, I read a small snippet of it and I really loved it from, from what I read. So I picked this one up a long time ago on my trip to Portland at Powell's Books just because I wanted something from Powell's. Um, but I also got it on audiobook. So very excited to start this series whenever I do because I heard it was amazing. I also got a couple books for like blogging and stuff. So I have my travel blog, um, and so I got Words That Sell, and it's kind of like a big thesaurus. I saw it in uh, Barnes & Noble one time, but it has like other words for popular, and it has some phrases like if you want to, I don't know, it's kind of like more geared towards selling, like if you are a salesperson. It's really interesting though, it helps when... I just feel like I'm using the same word over and over again. I mean, I could just use a thesaurus, but... This is a lot cooler. Also in line with that, I got Blogging for Creatives and it's basically just a book about blogging and social media just for my personal reference for my blog and stuff. Talking about Google Analytics and WordPress and everything like that. I just got in the mail today Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I'm so excited for this. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Basically, this is a fairy tale retelling of the Queen of Hearts in Wonderland. Like, I love Alice in Wonderland. I love Marissa Maya's writing. I am so excited for this. So the last few books are gonna be eBooks that I have on my Kindle app. Um, I bought Zenith from Sasha here on BookTube and Lindsay Cummings. So yeah, I just wanted to check that out. Plus it's really short, it's only like 70 pages. So I was like, oh yeah, 
For sure I'll finish that one. I haven't yet, but for sure I will. I also picked up a book from the Kindle First program or Amazon Prime First program. I don't even know what it's called. I'll link it down below if there's info on it, which I'm sure there is. But basically it's a program where if you're an Amazon Prime member, every first of the month um, or in the beginning of the month, Amazon sends like a list of six books and you can pick one to read on your Kindle for free and it's like new release books. So that's really cool. Um, one of the books that I picked up is called the Things We Wish Were True, and this is by Mary Beth Mayhew Whalen. If you guys read this, let me know. Um, it did get decent ratings on Goodreads, but from what I can tell, it's a mystery book, something that seems like it's really gonna F with me. Um, it's a small town neighborhood, and a tragedy occurs, and then it's like a rippling effect. All these secrets from everyone in the neighborhood come out, and the neighbors lives intertwine and it just sounds like a really messed up mystery but yeah those are all the books that i have picked up in my long overdue non-hauling absence um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in my next one bye guys i cannot even pile all of these especially these fat ones by sarah j moss like goodness cassandra claire you too What's that?